ain't got your shit together, then you can't let her know what's up. Oh, oh, oh. oh you got to do better. She wanna be alone forever. Oh no, she wanna know how many times you gon' go to my. Good YouTube, everybody you you're back again once again and today people today we're focused on number five numero single over Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness Let's play last episode you guys we evolved our starter Eevee uh, And that was a debacle in of itself We'll get to that in just a moment and we also got our machine parts and explored all of Gideon port So today we're heading back to the lab Seeing what kind of shenanigans we can get into if you guys are hyped for some more Gale of Darkness And of course I'm sure you support us a proud member of the Nappy Nation Make sure to like button down below for us because you already know your support is greatly appreciated Now, super quick team recap before we get into anything else Up first, we have Vaporeon, our Eevee Well, our Vaporeon, our Vaporeon, it's what we evolved our Eevee into uh, I asked you guys for nicknames for our Vaporeon And a lot of you guys said XYZ from uh, Dark Rising 2 But I feel like XYZ is like a different Vaporeon, like a more savage Vaporeon, an entirely different timeline, a totally different universe. So I'm not really rocking with XYZ this time around. Um, a lot of you guys said Aquafina or Dasani, and I'm like, mmm, it's a little cliche, you know. Plus, Aquafina reminds me of the Palkia we had in Insurgents. Um, and then a lot of you guys are like, you should stick with the soda theme, throwback to our original starter from our original Gale of Darkness Let's Play, uh, Dr. Pepper the Flareon. Uh, so I think some of you guys said Pepsi, some said Sprite, but I think we're gonna rock out with Sierra Mist. I feel like it, it fits the most, it's, it's the most appropriate soda to fit. I, I like it, I like it. I'm gonna rock out with it. It's very, it's very, um, Sierra Mist is very like, I don't know, I don't want to say dainty or just delicate or whatever. Just the name fits Vaporeon. I like it. I'm a rock out with this. We have Sierra Mist, our Vaporeon. Gentle Nature with Water Absorb, Rock and Tackle Tail with Bite and Sand Attack. Then we got our Shadow Teddy Ursa, uh, level 11, Sassy Nature. He's holding an X Attack because he's got Pickup. Now, Hard Gauge is almost over Rock and Shadow Blitz and Shadow Mist. Then we got a Shadow Ladybug in the last episode. Uh, he's level 10 with uh, Early Bird, Rock and Shadow Blitz, and Shadow Shed. What is Shadow Shed? A shadowy aura eliminates reflecting similar moves. Lit. Then we got a Shadow Poochiena we scooped up as well. Level 10 uh, with Runaway, Rock and Shadow Blitz, and Shadow Hold. And we figured out what Shadow Hold meant as well. But wait, let me go, go to this Teddy Ursa and snag this X attack. Yeet, ski. So. What I want to speak about really quickly, because I know a lot of you guys have such short attention spans and it just drives you wild and crazy. How dare I record an episode and spend the first 10 minutes of it explaining a situation that I know will cause controversy in the comment section. How dare I? How dare I? So, last episode, obviously, I knew there were going to be people that were going to be upset with my decision about uh, the Eevee. Uh, and to be honest, I don't regret it. It is what it is. I don't like the Pokemon. I don't want to use the Pixels. And that's that. There are a lot of you guys that were upset that I spent 10 minutes explaining it and there's only 20 minutes of gameplay. I could have made a 20 minute episode. And you wouldn't have said anything at all. You're only complaining about it because it was a 30 minute episode. So I'll just make 20 minute episodes from here on out. I ain't got no problems, right? See how stupid that is? First of all, if there's a situation that I know is going to cause controversy, yes, I'm going to take the time to address it. Period. If I didn't take the time to address it, then I'd have double the people asking me triple the questions. So shut up. <laughs> like, I don't understand that. I've never seen anyone complain about more content before. So let me take my 10 minutes out of my 60 hour let's play and explain why I chose what I did. It's episode four. Let's not harbor over stupid shit just yet. You know, if I spent the next seven episodes with a 10 minute monologue at the start of every single one, then you say some shit and you get upset. But for one episode, when I actually have a really good reason for why I'm doing it, back the fuck up. Just a little bit, just a little bit. This, is, this isn't like content creator to like viewer. This is like person to person, like back the fuck up and let me do me. Thanks. Anyways, we got our machine parts. So let's ski daddle. Let's ski daddle uh, back to the lab. Whoa, I'm using the stick, and the stick is weird. The stick is weird. I don't think I calibrated it correctly. Uh, I did have this recording crash on me uh, just a second ago. It was literally in the team recap. So you better believe I'm saving this motherfucker every three steps. I'm about to say, yo, look, I'm going to save right now. Right, right the fuck now, dog. We just got here. I went through the entire transition. I'm saving the goddamn game. Yeet, skeet, let's get it. 
Let's get it, dog. All right, I'm just being sure. Just being sure. Hey, knock, knock, bang, bang. Where the cash at? Oh, I forgot. Homeboy got kidnapped. Bro, that slipped my mind. I hope we get him back sometime soon. Oh, Nappy, could you wait just one second? I found some more memos I wrote up from the director. I think you should have them, Nappy. Crane memo number three. Crane memo number four. Crane memo number five. They'll give you basic information about Shadow Pokemon. I'd like you to read them over at least once. Is this one of those things that I have to do? You want me to do this? Crane memo number three, machine part. A vital mechanical component needed by Lily. All right, let's see what we got here. Crane memo number three, the snag machine. The Aura Reader's development made it possible to create a workable new snag machine. We realized that we could integrate the Aura Reader with the original snag machine developed by Cypher. The Aura Reader can be made to sound a warning and prevent the snag machine from working if a regular, non-shadow Pokemon is targeted. The likelihood of the snag machine being abused should be diminished. However, one must always be vigilant. 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 It must be treated with caution. Crane memo number four. Purification. Once captured, shadow Pokemon must have their hearts reopened in a process called purification so that they may return to their normal state. The best known method of purification was to have the shadow Pokemon spend time with the trainer and allow their hearts to gradually reopen. However, because it required shadow Pokemon to be with the trainer, this method placed a limit on the number of Pokemon that could be treated. We needed a process for efficiently purifying many shadow Pokemon. Our studies led us to the idea of the Purify Chamber. What could that be? Crane member number five. The Purify Chamber. The Purify Chamber is a radical new concept, radical new concept that differs from the usual purification method of having Shadow Pokemon be with their trainer constantly. It represents a new approach that places Shadow Pokemon among regular Pokemon so they become purified naturally. Much time is still needed to make this concept real. We need to acquire systems, collect data, and make adjustments. We eagerly look forward to seeing the Purify Chamber concept in operation. Yeet. Alright, I read this shit, dog. I got to get back to Lily. Not mom. She's not called mom in this game. No, it's Lily. We must get back to Lily. Hey, Lily. Where are you, Lily? Lily. <laughs> That's because she's not our mom. That fat ass Blissey is our mama. That's my mama. Where is Lily at? Can I get rid of Jovi? That's the real question. I gotta go on. I think she was in this room last time I saw her. Was she not? Was she not? Hey, bitch. Welcome back, Nappy. Was Jovi well behaved? We ran the errand like you wanted, Mommy. A bad guy tried to stop us, but a nice person helped us. Oh no, really? I'll get the details later. What about the machine part? Take it, bitch. Thank you. With this component, we can get down to the finishing touches on the Purify Chamber. I should take this down to the Purify Chamber on the ground floor now. Oh, Jovi will take it. 20 bucks, she gets kidnapped. We gotta go get that part and that hole back. Jovi, are you sure? Don't drop it. Jovi can do it. She's gonna drop it. Her sleeves go over her arms. Nappy, how is your shadow Pokemon doing? Purification progresses if a shadow Pokemon spends time together with its trainer. Has the heart gauge fallen to zero? No. Oh, but by the time the purified chamber is completed, the heart gauge should be down to zero. If the heart gauge has fallen to zero, that shadow Pokemon is ready to open its heart. But that alone isn't enough. To complete the process, the Pokemon needs to go through a purification ceremony. It's basically a ritual for it to return to its natural state. If the purified chamber were ready, it could go through that ceremony there, but it looks like we need a little more time to get finished. Because of that, I think your shadow Pokemon should go through the purification ceremony using a different process. There's a village called a gate. In the village, there's a relic stone which has the power to restore shadow Pokemon to their natural state. It worries me a lot to send you to such a far off place by yourself, dear, but I also think it's something you, that only you can do. Well, dear, will you go to a gate village? Yeah, bitch! Thank you. You know, Nappy, I'm so proud of how you're becoming more and more dependable. Shout out to you, ho. A gate is southeast from here, but it's not very close. Go see a man named Egan there. I remember that hoe from the first game! The relic stone which is used for the purification ceremony is under the care of a man named Egan. I will get in touch with him so that he knows you're coming, Nappy. I will do my best to get the purified chamber finished while you're gone. Please be careful, Nappy. Okay, so I remember actually going to um, a gate in this game. I, I think I think I mentioned this last episode or at this episode or something. Maybe it was in the failed recording. But the furthest I remember going in this game is getting to the purified chamber. Because I remember the purified chamber being confusing as shit because you know I'm dumb as a bag of hammers. So I do remember going... So I, I do remember visiting a gate. Like I knew, obviously you can visit in this game. But 
I really don't remember what happens next. Hey, bitch. Hey, bitch. Take me there. I wanna go there. Take me to that place there. Uh, why is it surrounded by mist? I don't. I, I never got that. Like, is it that high up in the mountains? Oh no 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 no! I went the wrong way. I went the wrong way. See, like, I don't even mind saving this often in a game like this because it's not a nuzlocke. Like. I always have this sneaking suspicion in the back of my head that it's like, oh, if I save the game and something happens, people are going to think that, like, I lost. I'm trying to, like, fake it or some shit. And it's like, please, don't even try that. But this isn't a Nuzlocke, so I can save as much as I want, and this bitch crashes, we can just cut, come right back to where we started. Hey, bitch. This is a gate village, but famous for the Relic Stone. You can consider that it's a retirement village. Elderly trainers and Pokemon lead quiet lives here. Ooh. Well, hold on, let me explore this house. I'm going in that cave, bitch. Going in that motherfucking cave, bitch. I want to see what's in this bit. Oh, there's a combuskin. Buskin. Can you be my, can you be my Pokemon? Uh-oh, there seems to be at least one Pokemon that hasn't opened his heart to you. Is that why you're here? Our village's relic has the power to open up the hearts of Pokemon. Some time ago, oh, I guess it would be years now, the relic was used to open the hearts of many Pokemon. Oh, you mean last game? That's what you mean? In the last game? In the motherfucking last game. I don't know. I spoke about this a couple episodes back, but it still is kind of weird. That, you know, they never made a third game. I I talk, I did mention it because it was like, oh, wait, bitch, you want to fight? You want to fight, ho? Because I'll body you. I don't think you understand. I'm macadocious. I'm ferocious. Do you know who I am? I'm the teacher lady. I know many kinds of moves. Are there any moves you, you wish a Pokemon knew? Sure. Oh, yes. Which moves should I teach? Uh, Thunder Wave. It can only be taught once? Well, I guess they can't learn shit, so... I'll wait! I'll wait! Thunder Wave and Seismic Toss. Add it to the list, just like we have in Dark Rising 2. Remind me, Thunder Wave and Seismic Toss is down there. Mimic, I can't really ever see myself using. But, Seismic Toss and Thunder Wave definitely can come in handy. Just remind me of uh, left cave at a, at, a, at a gate, and I'll come back and get that bitch. My dream is to become the Pokemon champion one of these days. Then after I retire, I'm gonna live here. To make that, to make that dream come true, though, I've got to get become a lot tougher. And to become a lot tougher it takes battles, right? Yes. Yahoo! Much obliged, pal. Let's get it. Let's fucking get it, Ryder Heben. Heben. Look at that big ass waterfall in the background. What I was gonna say was it's weird that they never made. A third game because it would just make sense to complete the trilogy I know I was saying earlier that they should like just start a whole new story because the switch is it's been so long since it came out and the switch is a whole different engine and different graphics oh we ain't got no shadow mons here I ain't got no shadow mons wait can I change this I can't change it from here shit oh we got metal claw oh I ain't fucking shit up with metal claw you damn right you damn right! Get this Wurmple out of here, dog. Nigga, you got a long way to go if you trying to be champion. You trying to Silcoon and a fucking Cascoon, dog. Oh, you got... A Wurmple, a Silcoon, and a Cascoon. My bad. My apologies. Uh, will this Teddy Ursa be good to go? Don't do it. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. I would get created the first turn. But, thanks to you guys and your uh, assistance in the comment section, you let me know that if Mon goes into reverse mode, I should click call. And call it, and it will snap out of reverse mode, and it also takes a huge chunk. Oh, look at that big ass chunk! Woo! Uh, from its its shadow bar or whatever. Imagine if I would have done that last episode. We would have. I think it would be purified by now, though. Is this what they give us these extra battles here? Is it for this reason exactly? Oh boy, better watch out. This jackass is hardening. Come on, idiot. Stop this shit. Dog, I want you to shadow blitz and never stop shadow blitzing. You know, I have mixed emotions about this battle. Because it's like, on one hand, I really, really wanted a shadow mon to be here. Because I want more mons. On the other, I'm not really upset because all his mons were hot dick water. Like, actual ass cheeks. 
Like, clap, 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 clap. Ass cheeks, dog. My doggy. Hold up. I need to take a note. A mental note. But it's not really mental if I'm writing it down. It's not really mental if I'm writing it down. I'm just trying to make sure I got my shit together. Because if I ain't got my shit together, y'all gonna let me know in the comment section. Losing to a kid like you, my dream become the champion of nothing but a bike dream. Yeah, just don't you forget that, ugly. Don't ever forget that, ugly. Ugly. The villagers are all retired now, but they were all outstanding trainers in their younger days. That's why I came here. I wanted to learn the ins and outs of battling from the people here. My older brother trained here before, and he became very skilled. I hate losing to him. When it gets right down to it, the more you battle, the tougher you become. So how about we battle? That's what I want to hear. Here it goes. See, they give you a shit ton of people to battle here so that you can open the door to your mom's heart's last second, dog. Azuril and Iglybuff. Mm. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. Iglybuff looks like one of Wigglytuff's nuts. Like, Ben that looks like one of Gengar's balls. Iglytuff looks, or Iglybuff looks like one of Wigglytuff's balls, dog. Get the fuck off my screen. It's your baby mom. That's why you keep losing. Yeah. Eat this mon, dog. Oh, you got more baby mons. Hey, the more times I get to call my, my little Teddy Ursa, the better. Go ahead. Hit that reverse mode. Hit that reverse mode, dog. Damn, that bitch closed its eyes. Are you not going to go into reverse mode? Does it still work if I just call him? Oh, it raises his accuracy. What? Does that raise accuracy every time, or is that just a random stat? Whoa. Interesting. Yeah, you're about a generation ahead. <laughs> if I'm being honest with you, you're about a generation ahead. For that, Togepi. Next generation, that charm will work on my bite. But for right now, I don't think so. Ooh. Look at Sierra Miss Gold. Look at Sierra Miss Gold. Mmm. Why is Vaporeon so big? Like, you see its sprite? Like, look at, look at, next time we're in battle, look at Vaporeon's sprite compared to ours. I've got a lot to learn if I'm losing to someone like you. <laughs> a black. I've got to get, I've got to study a lot more about battling. I know, I'd hate to lose to a black too, if I'm being honest. Shit sucks, dog. Shit sucks. Okay, so, I don't know about y'all. But a gate village is looking all kinds of scrumptious, and I'm trying to go around and see what they got. Hmm, for some reason I feel dull and listless. I seem to have no energy at all. I've been wearing these new sandals with raised nubs on the insole. I was told it was a great invention, but does it actually do anything for my health? You listened to that jackass, didn't you? Do you know Senalor? He's an old man who's been living here for many years. Well, Semilor says that he saw a whale lord flying high up in the sky. If that's true, it would be fantastic, I guess. But if he mistook something for a flying whale lord, what did he really see? That nigga's talking about a Lujaya, dog. That's what that nigga's talking about, is a Lujaya. Talking about a big ass Lujaya. Which only confirms the theory that Lugia is a Beluga whale. A Belugia whale. Mm -hmm. Move, old man! I got places to be! I'm just feeling so free that we don't have Jovi behind us, dragging us down. Oh my my, it's quite rare to see a child visitor in our village, huh? Aren't I a kid too? I may be young in body, but I'm old in heart. Oh, I thought you wanted to fight, dog. I ain't got no time for whack ass niggas like you, dog. Uh, can we get up? Thanks. Please, thanks. Question is, how do I get down down there? Oh, it's right there. I like how the camera pans out so you can see. Hmm. Hey, bitch. Ta -da -da. Oh, you're here to see Egan? I saw him tearing around the village in a huge rush a little earlier. Maybe Bella would know where he went. Why can't you just add the U and make it Beulah? Why you gotta spell Bella like that, Doug? Why you gotta spell it like that? I just wanna know why. I just wanna know why. Knock, knock! What's up, bitch? The daycare lady retired. Oh, damn. But not to worry, her granddaughter's supposed to take over the daycare business. She went to bring the new girl here. Oh, so she'll be back. Hello, hello, I'm the name raider. You can consider me the fortune teller names. Oh, it's about that time! Mm hmm, they pour in, is it? It's quite a fine name you bestowed. It's quite the best, luck wise. Knowing that, would you still change the nickname to something better? Yes. 
Fine, fine. Then what shall the new nickname be? I don't know if Sierra Mist will fit. I like how we actually get to... Can I? Thank you. I was going to say. If Sierra Mist doesn't fit... Oh, no. I hate spelling names like this. Oh, no. <sighs> I'd rather just spell it Sierra, if I'm being honest. I'm going to do it. I'll do it. Sierra Mist it is. Sierra Mist. From now on, this Pokemon should be known as Sierra Mist. It has a name that's vastly superior to before. Its luckiness is simply unsurpassed. Keep treating your Sierra Mist with love and affection. Okay, Google. Sierra Mist. According to Wikipedia, Sierra Mist is a lemon-lime flavored soft drink line. Okay. I was just checking to make sure it had two R's in it. Because that'd be some shit that, you know, normal Sierra is spelled with two R's. But they, that'd be one of them things where they're like, all oh, dumbass snappy, it's spelled with one. Oh, wait, can I nickname a Mon that is all shadowy? Wait, my nigga got an item. Hold up. A pearlized heel. Ooh, that nigga out here. Working, dog. I appreciate it. Ta -ta -la. Do you see this? My tailor brings me berries from somewhere every day. Here, I'll share one with you. In case I get burned, got a frost berry dog, yo. So every day he gets a, a new berry? That's cool, dog. That's cool. I appreciate it. See, like, I, I keep I keep hearkening, hearkening, har harping. I don't want to say harping because that's negative. But I keep coming back to the, the topic. This is Egan's house, I know that. Of uh, one of these games on the Switch. Like, this will be the game they should make where your mom follows you. Like, I know Let's Go kind of already does that. and But Let's Go, like I said before, is like a Gen 1 remake. So I don't really count that. Yes? Oh, you've been come calling on Egan. Egan's house is right there, but he went out earlier and hasn't returned. He went running off shouting something about someone coming or not coming. I can't quite remember, though. Hmm. Is there anything back here? Oh, shit. This is why you explore everything, dog. I mean, three Podions, dog. Hey, it's a Poochina. I got one of these. It's all dark and shadowy, though. I heard this child calling for me, so I came running to see what was the matter. Well, I found something quite nice. I know, we should have a battle. If you could beat me, I'll happily give you what I found. Would you like to give it a try? Pull up, Granny! Oh, yes, a fine answer. Pull up, Granny! Matron Bellish! Who names their child Bellish? Kuchina and Kata. Ooh, I'm gonna take great joy in bodying you today. I'm gonna take great joy in bodying you today. I'm a double team. Look at Sierra Miss name. I didn't even go back to see if I could rename the fucking whatchamacallit. Stupid fucking happy, stupid happy. I didn't even go back to see if I can rename it or not. Or no! Or no! You know, it wouldn't make any sense for any of the trainers in a gate to have a Shadow Mon. It doesn't make any sense. They live next to a purification stone. Idiot. What am I thinking? What am I thinking? But look at how big Vaporeon is! Ah, most impressive indeed. Yeah, get that ass wax. You could've just told me, bitch. Here you are then, just as I promised. Here's your prize. TMs this early? I'm sure you'll find it useful. Why don't you tell me what it is? Whore? Bullet Seed. Uh, that actually isn't bad. Early game. That's a hardy grass attack. Shout out to Bellish, dog. My nigga Bellish coming through. I like to look at the termination in your eyes. When trainers lock eyes with each other, it's the only one thing to do. Battle. Ha ha, this gets my blood pumping. Okay, so I just hope I get my, this nigga's name is Fun Old Man. Clur, yer, Oddish and Machop. Oh my God, this nigga got Guns on guns! Guns on top of guns! Holy shnikes! My nigga is pulling up. I'm double teaming this Oddish, Doug. Doug, this nigga should be pured after this battle. Pured? Cured after this battle. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. So, I have an idea. I have an idea on how I'm going to train my mom. I do, I have his plan. Lit. Reverse mode, so he'll come out after this battle. He'll come out after this battle. 
<laughs> I have my nickname for Teddy Ursa. I do, I do, I do. All right, end him and call him. Hey, bitch! Yo, I nigga stood up instantly. Ready to go. Bite this hoe. Yeah. Yeah. Machop use layer. Oh, that's what he used last time. Be gone, thought. Be gone, thought. Be gone, thought. So that means our the shadow mist and shadow blitz will get replaced by actual moves. I do. I hope we get like slash. Let me get slash. And like maybe charm or baby doll eyes. Wrong generation, Doug. This nigga looked at his machop pass out like what the hell? You got another mon? I'll call this nigga right back. Oh, why are we zooming in on my Vaporeon? Look at it. Look how big I am. Or look at how look how big the Vaporeon is. It's just as tall as we are. I bow to your skill. Yeah, back the fuck up, ugly. Back the fuck up. I don't want to see you talk to me ever again. A fine battle that was. Highly enjoyable indeed. Let us battle again sometime. I got a message because Teddy Ursa can now be purified. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch you. I'm going to use the Ladybug, Doug. I've used the Puccina in a Let's Play before. You remember when we did Alpha Sapphire for the first time? We had Rollo. I'm going to use a Ladybug. Ladybug ain't that good. This ain't a Nuzlocke, though. I want to see what I can do here. What you got? Have you heard the news? Someone abducted the director of the research lab somewhere. Isn't it scary? It was finally becoming peaceful after Cypher disappeared, but now this happens. Sometimes it doesn't matter how strong Pokemon are in battle. If the trainer doesn't know how to use items properly, the battle could be lost. That's why I think it's important to buy a good mix of items that are good for every conceivable situation. Speaking of items. Tadir's ain't got shit, nigga! Hello, welcome to our Pokemon Mart. How may I serve you? Oh, I got super potion? Dog, I got money! Wait, I got five antidotes. I got a burn heal, an ice heal, awakening, paralyze heal. I'm gonna get two paralyzed heals. Scoop those. I'm gonna get three awakenings. Scoop those. Joy scent. A scent that slightly pleases Pokemon. Excite scent. Vivid scent. What's the point in scents? What is the point in scents? I'm gonna buy three of these. That's a lot of fucking money. Holy shit, I'm broke. Uh, I'm gonna sell an X attack. I get people, like, especially as of late, a lot of people are like trying to get me to. Can I sell the crane memo? <laughs> trying to get me to use X items in battles, and I'm just like. Like, I don't have a problem using them, it's just not like on my priority to use. Like, I. Don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to downplay their usefulness, I know what they do. It's just. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh, this nigga's thick. My dad's getting on an age, becoming more and more forgetful. Lately, he's been saying nonsense. I saw a Waylord flying up in the sky when he started spouting that. It depressed me to no end. God damn, everything's not about you. This is Selenor. But it's true, there really was a Waylord flying up in the sky. Mm -hmm. Your face clearly shows disbelief. Hm. You must think that old Selenor must be adrift in dreamland. What you got on the TV, Doug? We bring you a breaking news item. An unidentified gang has swarmed the Pokemon HQ lab and abducted Professor Crane, the head of operations. We have unconfirmed reports that one of- Okay, this is the same shit, though. You ain't telling me nothing I already know. I was there when it happened. I fought them off. I fought them off. And I stole one of their moms. And they still walked off with that. Whatever. Okay, so I think we balled out on everybody here. I think the only place left for us to go is down in there and Homeboy's house. So let me check Homeboy's house real quick, like. Right? Real quick, like, let me peep homeboy's house and see what we got in store. Hey, old lady, give me all your money. You want a battle? Hello, what a darling trainer you are. I'm Bella. Did you want something of me? Oh, Egan, you say? Oh, so you've come calling to see my husband. Are you perhaps nappy? She knows me. Ah, just as I thought. You are nappy. We've been expecting you. We got word about you from Lily, you see. We understand that you want to purify Shadow Pokemon. 
The instant my husband heard from Lily, why, you should have seen his excitement and enthusiasm, shouting, this calls for my services, or some such. He went running off to who knows where. He hasn't come back since. Oh, shit. Beulah, dear, I've got everything ready. We're ready for our visitor from the HQ lab whenever you're up. Oh. Oh, hello, dear. Our guest Nappy has just arrived. Oh, so you're Nappy. I've been waiting. I'm Egan. I've heard everything that Lily has to say. As you know, to purify a shadow Pokemon, it must open its heart to the trainer. While there are several approaches, Basil's all the best, no doubt at all. The place to do that here is in the Relic Force, which is home to the Relic Stone. I will go ahead and wait for you there. My husband is so impatient, as you've just seen. In his day, he was hailed as the greatest trainer, but that's a long time ago. This nigga is cuckoo. He took off running, dog. My journey's with Pikachu. Let's think of Egan as a Pikachu. Do we get to battle Egan? Because I don't know if we got to battle Egan in the last game. But I'm down to battle Egan. I think I want to pull up with his bitch ass Pikachu. I'll pull up and smack him up, dog. Pikachu ain't shit. What you gonna do to a nigga with a ladybug, dog? What you know, Egan? What you actually know, Egan? About fighting with a goddamn ladybug. Mmm. <clears throat> Alright, let me heal our mons. We've had plenty of thrilling and exciting battles and matches. Smacked up a, a gate village. We are the, uh, the thane of a gate. Excuse me, pardon me. Don't have me do what I do on you wars. Whoa, 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 whoa. 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 Wait, isn't this the... Oh gosh, there's no path out of the village this way. Whoa, don't stare at me like that. Are you looking for a battle with me? Yeah. You're on. I'm feeling frustrated over getting lost, so I'll take it out on you. Dog, I want you to know I saw this dude when we came in and completely forgot about him. What kind of shirt is this? Why does he have no nipples? Whoa, that nigga Grimer is a nigga, dog. That nigga Grimer is a nigga through and through, dog. Holy fuck. All right, Ladybug. Do your thing. Get mad. Get upset. So I can call you back. Oh, I got an aerial ease? Fuck this hoe up, dog. I was going to say, you should eat that up. My boy, that stab and super duper effective. Yo. Yo. Fuck out of here. Get your ugly ass mons. Mm -hmm. Oh, you got a Zubin? You know, I was about to say, can you go into reverse mode if you don't- This grammar flinched. Can you go into reverse mode if you don't use a shadow move? And apparently you can. Ladybug is in reverse mode. Alright, I'm ending this grammar's existence, and I'm calling Ladybug back. Hey! Wait up! Yeah, use bite. Ah! End that grammar, dog. I'm not trying to get poisoned. I swear, guys, this Zubat uses poison sting. Zubat get poison sting? I know he gets leech life. Doofus. 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 Uh, I guess it don't really matter. It's your last mon, dog. You getting double teamed and you dying. Either way. You getting double teamed and you dying. Look at this. We outspeed with a ladybug. Your Zubat is so poorly trained. Be gone, thought. Be gone, thought. Please. Let me call you back before the battle ends. <sighs> Dumb. So let me call him back. So I have a bad sense of direction. It's nothing to make fun of. Put a shirt on, dog. Put a shirt on. Get your nipples all out. So retirement community, well, I don't need to see your nipples. I have come to have a look at the relic stone, but they won't let me in. Now I can't find my way out of here. I'm about to cry from frustration. All right, Doug. Well, you stay down here and you cry. You do that. And I think we're gonna go ahead and wrap up today's episode right here, nice and super cuck. And the next episode, we will go and purify our first mon. So, if you guys enjoyed today's episode of Gale of Darkness, and of course, I'm going to show you what is a problem of the Nappy Nation, make sure to like button down below for us, because you already know your support is greatly appreciated, and I'll catch you guys next time. Until then, I'm Audi 5 Bajillion. Bye!